Hi, Deepthi. So I don't know what happened, but uh, something something changed um, with my email settings. And so for some reason, this never came through. Only after I changed them on a whim did I see that this email had been here. So I apologize for that. Um, all right. Well, why don't we get into it? It's your first set from the new set of essays. Let's see what you did here, okay? So uh, this is about changing jobs. Remember that it's very helpful if you can include the topic so that I can refer to it uh, when I'm doing these, okay? All right, so let's see what you wrote. Um, I've debated whether the same job or many jobs throughout a life is beneficial. Though it is very easy to acquire expertise in a specific field, comma here, field, being in the same job along with better promotion chances, experiences gained from different jobs can also be enumerative. This essay will discuss both sides with examples from the UK government and Oxford University to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Okay, so I don't know what you mean by this word. Um, I suspect you mean a different word here. And then something happened here with the grammar that was a little strange for me. So, or many jobs is beneficial. That's fine. And then, though it is very easy to acquire expertise in a specific field, ah, how about when in the same job? But then this didn't make sense, along with better promotion chances, experience gained. I didn't understand this. So, I don't know if you just didn't have the right punctuation to make this work. But this whole sentence to me seemed rather um, difficult to read, and I wasn't really clear about what you were trying to say. Um, perhaps you needed a comma here, but it still is a little difficult, okay? Now, if this is why I wanted you to include the, the question, the, the prompt. This is why I wanted you to include it. I don't remember this being a discuss both sides and give your opinion essay. Um, perhaps it is. I have to look at the question to see how it's worded. Um, if it is, then it makes sense for you to discuss both sides. If it's not a discuss both sides and give your opinion, then you don't need to discuss both sides, okay? You only need to discuss your side or you can discuss both if you see value to both sides but if you see value in both sides you really need to express that in the introduction so um this is just one of the reasons why it's very helpful for me to have the topics that i know that your framing of the topic is correct okay all right let's see there is ample evidence that people who work with the same organization for their lifetime acquire expertise in their work area this is really important to become efficient at work and as a result to have a good work-life balance as workers acquire the required skill sets and knowledge of their field they complete their tasks effortlessly compared to those who change their jobs frequently for example recent empirical studies by oxford university show that employees who work in the same job for their lives are 30 percent 37 percent more efficient than those you need a those here who change jobs consistent with this line of thinking is that lifelong employees you don't say ladder up the career uh fast you can say climb the career ladder more quickly because of their work abilities as well as their loyalty i don't know there's something awkward here in this sentence even with the expression Hence, it is conclusively clear that working in the same job brings not only expertise, but also promotional opportunities. Okay, fine. Though there is a case for skill development and financial gain in working in the same job, benefits of exploring different jobs cannot be ignored as it broadens the horizons, we usually use this in the plural, of people. Switching jobs requires being at the top in the skill sets needed for a position and enables people to maintain their market value. Hence, employees do not rely on their current employer and even get better salaries in a new job. Why are you assuming that? Why are you assuming that they get a better salary? Okay. In addition to that, being able to switch jobs 
Ah, as and when needed, provides an opportunity to avoid any unhealthy work environment issues they might face at work. For instance, many people face issues, just said issues, face, and then here, face issues. Many people uh, face issues at the workplace due to um, A, toxic work culture, but are not able to switch jobs due to unawareness of off market requirements. I'm not crazy about this word unawareness. How about lack of awareness or um, I don't really like this unawareness. Um, due to being unaware of market requirements, maybe that would be better. This leads to a very harmful situation where people are stuck in a very unhappy job, causing them mental health issues. For instance, research by the UK government demonstrated that 35% of people who are diagnosed with heart diseases work in a very hostile work environment. Therefore, it is very advantageous to be able to switch jobs and not depend on one single employer. Hence, I feel like you're using hence a lot. I have to see. Um, it can be stated beyond, beyond doubt that working in many jobs in a lifetime enables people to keep up with the market and makes them self-reliant. All right, so I don't know if I've just read a lot of essays today or here's a hence here too. There it is. Uh, but I do feel like I've seen hence a few times. Maybe I haven't. Maybe it's just that hence is such a, um, it's a word that stands out that that's why even just seeing it twice made me feel like it was probably once too many. Um, Let's see, consistent with the normal thinking. For instance, this leads, I'm sorry, therefore, okay. Um, yeah, maybe you could have replaced this hence with like a, a thus or something. Um, but I do wonder if maybe you're going a little too heavy with some of these linkers. I guess not. No, you're fine, I suppose. Okay, it's just that you had, for instance, therefore, hence, so that just makes me feel like maybe you didn't need so many, but it's fine. It was just in that one little section and then the rest of it didn't really have this. Okay, let's continue. To conclude from the examples and arguments given, I firmly believe that working in many jobs has its own benefits of better compensation, as well as to be independent in the job market. If there had been any kind of contract to make a person work in a single job for all of their lives, there would have been a tremendous increase in people's health problems. In the future, I predict that there will be a sharp increase in the trend of people working in many jobs throughout their lives. Okay, I like that. That's good. I definitely appreciate your trying to write a very sophisticated grammatical structure there. Um, you did it well. It was fine. So um, it was good. Like I said, I did have a couple of questions about this essay, um, mainly in terms of how it was phrased. I have to look up my resources to see uh, what the actual command is in this essay. Um, but I thought you did a good job overall, okay? All right, let's take a look at, where's your test? Here it is, okay. English and homestay, let's see what you wrote. Dear Mr. Smith, I am Deepthi from India. We had talked on the phone last week about homestay arrangements. I am very thankful that you have accepted my request for homestay in London. Okay, a homestay in London. It's not homestay, it's just a homestay. As discussed, I will be staying for four weeks in London. I have done a master's in computer science and to improve my English fast, I'm taking up an English program. Not I'm taking up, I am taking an English program in London. As I have one month, mm, as I have a one month gap between my last examination at university and joining at Alpha Devices Corporation, I want to utilize the time to learn English with the English and Homestay program. Okay, um, that's fine. There's one little concern that I have here. You wrote here that you spoke to the guy, this Mr. Smith person. You spoke to him last week. However, the, the command here, the task tells you to introduce yourself. So if you've already spoken to this person, it would not make sense for you to be introducing yourself now. So maybe you wanna rethink this, this idea of saying like, oh, we spoke last week. Um, and instead just focus on making this your first contact with the family. It's a little more logical that way. Okay. So that's something I want you to think about. Let's keep going. I thought the rest of it was fine. 
I would need to ask you a few questions regarding your family and living arrangements. First of all, could you please let me know if there will be a drawing room available to me besides one bedroom? Because sometimes I would like to I would like to have conversations with your kids so as to avoid homesickness. This would really help me because I might feel all alone as I do not know anyone in London. Secondly, I'm a little worried about food because I'm an Indian and we mostly eat lentils uh, for dinner or at dinner would have been okay. Hence, I was wondering, there's hence again, I was wondering if I should bring some utensils. It, it's not a utensil. It's a, it's a device. It's a cooking device. So if I should bring some devices such as a pressure cooker or a rolling pin, um, how about since I am not aware if they will be available in the UK market, please let me know a little more about breakfast and dinner so that I can plan what I need to bring. Fine. I have booked my tickets for the 22nd of June. We'll land at Hebrew in London. Okay. Hebrew airport. Maybe you mean, I'm not really sure what you mean, actually. All right. Uh, Heathrow, perhaps, at 5 p.m. Please let me know if someone could pick me up from the airport. If not, please guide me about conveyance that I need to take to get to your, I don't understand that. We don't really say that conveyance. How about just transportation or transport that I need to take to get to your home? Thanks again for hosting my stay and I look forward to your reply. Okay. I thought it was fine. I thought there were just a couple of those areas that were a little off. Um, maybe some vocabulary that could have been a little more natural. But on the whole, I thought you did a good job. Um, again, I want you to, you know, to show a real clear understanding of some of this language. So if it says introduce, introduce means that you, you know, you're, don't know these people you haven't spoken to them before so you're introducing yourself okay um yeah so keep at it uh, again i don't know what happened and why my settings were the way they were but it's rectified now so i'll be waiting for more of your essay okay good luck